Hi, my name is Tara Cordy Simpson. Welcome to Biology 11. Today we're going to be talking about the role of DNA and sexual reproduction in evolution. This will be focusing on standard B2 in Unit B. So if you can get out the note sheet uh, that looks similar to the one on the screen, we're going to go through and fill in some of the blanks together. So get out your pen and we'll get ready to get started. So DNA is often referred to as the genetic code. So let's go ahead and fill that in. It contains all the information a cell needs to grow, develop, reproduce, and repair itself. The code exists within the order of the nucleotides. And some examples of nucleotides are the A, T, C, or G, C, G. Genes are the segments or pieces of DNA that code for a particular inheritable trait. Some genes consist of only a relatively few base pairs, whereas others consist of hundreds of base pairs. There are many possible combinations of base pair orders, therefore many different alleles can exist. By changing just one base pair within a gene, a new protein could be created. For example, if we look at this base pair um, in this segment of DNA, and then we come over and we look at this base pair in the same piece of DNA with just one base pair changed. By changing that one base pair, when the ribosome goes to read the mRNA, it will read a different code than original, so a new protein could be created. Individuals within a population share a common pool of genes. This pool is called a gene pool. Within this pool, there exists a number of different alleles. For the same gene. For example, the gene that codes for eye color has many different alleles including green, like myself, hazel, blue, brown, etc. The relative frequency of an allele is in a comparison between the number of times the particular allele occurs within a gene pool to the number of times the other alleles for the same gene occur. The relative frequency of alleles in a population cannot change due to sexual reproduction alone. Other influences such as the survival of the fittest or mutations must occur. Any change in the relative frequency a 
of alleles in the gene pool of a population is considered to be evolution. Okay, so let's flip over to the next page here. Now I need you to recall from Science 10, way back in Science 10, the genetic makeup of an organism is called its genotype. Whereas the outwards expression or appearance of an organism's genetic makeup is called its phenotype. You're going to hear these words a lot as we're talking about evolution, so make sure that you have these two things clear in your mind. So one way to remember this is genotype. This starts with G, the same as gene. Another way to remember is phenotype starts with PH, which is the same as physical. When a developing cell is exposed to chemicals or other toxins, mutations can occur. These mutations can sometimes cause variation. Within the base pairing order, when the C matches up with um, the G, and can change organisms' genotype. As a result, alleles may be created. I should say new alleles may be created. Usually these changes lead to birth defects, cancers, and even death. However, if the phenotypic expression of the new allele benefits the organism, the organism is more likely to survive. Reproduce. And pass on the new allele to its offspring or babies. Advantageous mutations are very rare. So let's keep that in mind as we move forward. Advantageous mutations are rare. Moving on, the success of an organism, the success an organism has in passing on its genes to its offspring or babies is called its fitness. So this is definitely a different definition for fitness in biology than when you talk about fitness when you're going to the gym or in physical education. Genetically controlled characteristics of organisms that increase fitness are called adaptations. Natural selection acts upon these adaptations and evolution of a species may gradually occur. Because members of a population share a common gene pool, a genetic change that occurs in a single individual can quickly spread through the population as members of that population mate, reproduce, and create offspring. If the allele for an adaptation is highly advantageous, over time, its relative frequency will increase within the gene pool. Oh, sorry, I just lost my pen there for a minute. So the last word is relative frequency will increase within the gene pool. That brings us to the end of the notes today on the role of DNA and sexual reproduction in evolution. I hope you learned something and thanks for watching.